Welcome to the first episode of Amazing Math Shortcuts for Multiplication. Listen closely to the next shortcuts to get faster at multiplying numbers. These first three shortcuts are really called properties of multiplication. These properties are not things that people own like a pencil or a house. These properties are laws or rules that always work with multiplication. If you have one wallet with zero dollars, you have zero dollars. If you have two wallets with zero dollars, you have zero dollars. And if you have 25 wallets with zero dollars, you still have zero dollars. This works with any number. Try it. What is 15 times zero? You're right, it's zero. The identity property of multiplication works like an ID card. If you show someone your ID card, you see a picture of the same person. For example, if you have one $10 bill, you have $10. If you have $100 bill, then you have $100. So what's 50 times one? You're right, it's 50. An easy way to remember this property is to think of some people commuting to another city. They move in a car from one city to another and they're still the same people. Take a look at these pennies. There are 15 pennies. There are five rows with three pennies each. Now, if I move the pennies like this, there are still 15 pennies, even though there are three rows with five pennies in each row. So, if you know that five times three equals 15, then you automatically know that three times five equals 15 too. This property cuts your memorizing the timetables almost in half. If you use it, you don't have to memorize all of this. You only have to memorize this much. Try it. If you know that five times eight equals 40, then what is eight times five? That's right, it's 40. That was so fast. Congratulations on learning these three properties of multiplication. Remember, use the zero property, the identity property, and the commutative property to help you multiply quickly. Quick quiz time. See how much faster you can multiply now. Now that you have started to master little numbers, be sure to tune into the next episode to learn shortcuts for multiplying bigger numbers.